Annie Jo here with Annie Jo Sews. So I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how I stabilize and hoop up my toilet paper for my toilet paper embroidery designs. So first thing I do is I take the hoop that I'm going to use and I hoop it up with cutaway uh, stabilizer. So we're going to go ahead and do this quick and get the machine into position so I can show you how I do it. So once the machine's in position, ask for the hoop. I put the hoop in, let it get into position. I then take two scrap sheets of stabilizer that I've normally cut off of another uh, design, and I get those into place so that it's covering most of the hoop, and I know where it's going to go most of the design. So what you want to be really careful of is making sure that you have your seams down so that you don't catch your foot and break a needle and have all kinds of bad stuff happen. So you're going to put it on slow for the basting stitch. Keep your fingers on either side of the needle while it's basting it into place. If you could see my finger a couple days ago, I shot a needle through my finger. It was not good, so you don't want to do that. And now I know it's not going to catch, so I can speed it up just a little bit. let it get into position and I'm using a dark thread just so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing so I double over the toilet paper so you can see I've rolled it out I'm folding it back under just a little bit I use Kirkland toilet paper at Costco I get 30 rolls for about $16.99 great deal and I've sewn on just about every other kind of toilet paper and prefer this. So one thing you want to be sure you're doing since you're not going to hoop this or stabilize it with um, any sort of like sticky spray or any of the water soluble, you want to make sure that your toilet paper, find your design or find your basting area and make sure your toilet paper edges are just maybe a quarter of an inch over either side of where your basting stitch is and then simply start sewing. There you go. I'm not going to sew the whole design because I just wanted to show you guys how I do it. You could see other um, rolls that I've made. Just if you want to go to my Etsy store, which is etsy.com slash shop slash Auntie Joe Sews, just to see the other designs that I've made. But if you wanted to put an even heavier stitch design on here, you could take a third piece of stabilizer and um, go across it vertically so you'd have your main base your horizontal extra stabilizer and your vertical stabilizer and you could you know basically stitch the Mona Lisa on here if you get enough stabilizer anyway that's my video for tonight thanks so much for watching if you have any questions just post them down below and I'll comment but it's super easy just stabilize the heck out of it and you can stay you can stitch just about anything on some TP thanks so much have a great night guys